Hi folks, welcome back. Dr. Lehman here. Um, sorry that we're here again. Many of you have already been through this one time with Florence, and in some ways this is probably going to be a little bit tougher even. Um, but we're all going to do our best here. Um, so first of all, I do hope that you and your family and your friends are all safe. Um, and also, I know that many of you are graduating seniors, and you've probably gotten the news by now that it looks like commencement won't happen in May, at least at the appointed time. But we're still planning to get you done, to get you finished, to get your coursework finished, to get that grade and get that diploma. So hopefully I'll see you all at commencement at graduation sometime. But until then, um, we'll just keep plugging away remotely as best we can. So this certainly is an ideal. I'll be the first to acknowledge that you did not sign up for remote instruction. I didn't sign up to teach remotely. Uh, the best learning, in my opinion, takes place when we can talk to one another. Um, and it's really hard to force it online to kind of do synchronous communication online and to force you to kind of engage with the material. So I'm not really going to try and do that. Uh, my objective now in this course is to give you the tools that I think you need to succeed in mobile application development. But unfortunately, it's largely going to be on you to implement them. Uh, I'm going to be there uh, virtually to help you as much as I can. Uh, so just because we're not in the same room together it doesn't mean that I'm not here. Uh, I won't be here in my office much longer. We faculty are also getting kicked out. Um, starting on Tuesday. So I'll, I will be broadcasting from my garage because I have a seven-month-old and a three-year-old at home. and They won't leave me alone. So, uh, and I know a lot of you are in tough situations as well. You've got roommates. You, pro If you had a job, you're probably not working right now. Um, maybe you don't have a space of your own. So learning, uh, not only for this class, but for any class, is just going to have to take place whenever possible. Right. Um, so I'm trying to gonna give you that flexibility to the best of my ability while still making sure that you're getting uh, the student learning outcomes that we have set forth in the class. Okay, so um, what I will be doing, uh, the first thing I want you to do, if you haven't already, please make sure that you have turned on notifications in Canvas so that you get uh, something in your inbox or the mobile app whenever I post an announcement. The second thing is um, please monitor your UNCW email. Uh, it's, that's where all the important stuff is going to get through to you now um, instead of in class. So um, what, do you, what can you expect? First thing I need you to do after you've turned on your notifications and you've gotten in the good habit of monitoring your UNCW email is to go to the syllabus for this course. At the top you will see a summary of all the changes, how instructional changes, how to get in touch with me, how to communicate with me, and sort of how the the term project is going to change in general. Um, what I'll be doing, more or less, high level overview, is every week I'll drop some new content for you uh, before class would meet. Um, there will be videos included like this one, and I'll try to make them somewhat engaging. Uh, just know that, hey, if you're a YouTube connoisseur and you see a lot of tutorials online and they're good, uh, know that that takes a lot of time to do. So I'll edit my uh, videos to the best of my ability, but um, hopefully you'll have some patience and some grace for me um, as we do this, as again, nobody signed up for this. Um, what I will do, what I'm planning to do, is I'm going to drop videos kind of in chunks. Um, in this class in 315, typically there's an introductory lecture uh, and it lasted anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. So the YouTube videos that I'll be producing are probably going to be a lot like that and they'll probably be shorter because you all won't be there to interact with and to ask questions and I won't be able to see the blank stares on your face and ask questions about you to make sure you're paying attention, that sort of thing. Um, so there will be videos. Um, if you run into technical issues with the videos, if you can't hear me, if you can't see what's on the screen, if the lighting is terrible, let me know. I'll try and I'll try and improve uh, as best I can. Um, so 
I, as I mentioned, I do plan to drop module content, you know, on a week by week basis, sometimes bi weekly. Uh, and my expectation is that you will complete the module during the week, if at all possible. Uh, the term project will continue. You will still be working on teams if you elected to do so. You may form new teams. You may split your team. It's up to you. Um, what I will do is um, I'm going to reduce the scope of that project a little bit. So the main thing that's going to happen is we are taking the auction component out of the project and the bidding component. It's basically going to be Craigslist now, but for uh, UNCW. So no bidding, no time limits. It's just going to be instead of those things, there's going to be a, hey, I want to buy this. And you say you click a button or something and it fires up an email screen uh, to the seller. And that should be much simpler to deal with. Um, all the rest of the functionality I do want to maintain. Uh, but believe me, removing the auction functionality will be a huge reduction in, uh, in what's required of you. Um, so I will make a post about that uh, and update the project assignments accordingly. But just know that that is coming. All right. So looking at my notes on my screen. Um, that said, uh, working remotely is not ideal. And I know that you're not necessarily going to have the privacy that you have, that you're not always going to have the tools you're going to have. Some of you are going to be watching videos on your phone and typing on your desktop at your parents' house or with kids hanging all over you. I get it. Um, I'm going to be lenient on a lot of things uh, and on deadlines and things. But if you are in a bind completing your work or staying current with what's posted, please let me know as soon as you can. Okay, I can work with you, uh, but if you're gone for like several weeks with no contact, uh, there's not much I'll be able to do. Um, I'm tempering expectations for what I'm asking you to do. Uh, I'm reducing the different topics we will cover, but I still expect the quality of what you learn to be high. I still want you to exit this class virtually with a mobile app in hand that you can go to a potential employer and say, hey, look at this thing I built, and here's the source code for it. Right. That's going to separate you from a lot of your peers. Most people are not going to be able to hold up a phone and say, look, I built this. And I still want you to do a good job. And I'm going to hold you to that standard uh, for your grade. Right. Most of the remaining grade is on the term project. But again, I'm not kind of throwing this at you and abandoning you. Um, I will be here virtually. And there's lots of ways to get in touch with me. And I am 100% dedicated to responding to you in a timely manner and working with you synchronously, whether it's via Zoom and a teleconference, whether it's on Slack or Discord, whatever. Uh, we'll get it done and we'll work on it together. Okay, so just know in conclusion, I'm here for you, even if I'm not here. And uh, the syllabus has how to get in touch with me. So please go check it out. Please let me know if you have any questions. And good luck to all of you. Please stay safe. Please do what you can to help contain this epidemic. Uh, as small as it may be, it will help. And I hope to see you again in the future. And please, please be in touch with me if you have any questions. Thank you.